hi guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing us into details how to make this simple shift lovely dress with um should i call it babe or yoke no i don't know the highlight of this dress is the sleeve and the um neckline to the bust area so let's get started so like i always do i like to draft my patterns on paper when i'm doing a tutorial ideally for this kind of style you don't need to do any serious drafting you can cut it directly on your fabric right so i have my shoulder chest and the hemline so this is my shoulder line here okay then shoulder to chest line nine inches is okay on the average it's okay okay then shoulder to the hemline over there okay so for me i like short dresses so i'm working with that seven inches as my length you can make yours longer or shorter yeah so on the shoulder line i'll mark half of my across back and i'm adding a little bit of ease so normally for my fitted dresses i do seven but i'm doing 7.5 so i marked the same thing on the chest line okay so i'm having a straight line okay i marked half of my across measurement on the shoulder and chest line right then on the chest line uh, we mark quarter of my boss then i'm adding half inch for ease okay it's not a fitted dress you need some allowance then one inch for side seam allowance okay then straight to the hemline straight to the hemline i will mark quarter of my hip first then because it's like an a-line dress there's no slit nothing nothing so i'll just add extra three inches to give it that a-line look okay before I now add my one inch for side seam allowance, that's as simple as that. So I'll link um, the shoulder to the chest line. I've done that already. Can you see that? I use my inner to link the shoulder to the chest line. And then, um, yeah, so I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't record the parts where I marked the armhole. I'm sorry about that. But just use your French curve to draw the armhole. Then the neckline, I used it for my four inches. Okay. Sorry, guys. I didn't know I didn't record that part. Okay, so my dress is almost ready. Okay, so I've transferred this to my fabric. So this is the back. Okay, I have two necklines on the pattern actually. So the back is higher. I did four by one inches for the back. Okay, so the one I cut on my fabric now is the back. Okay, the front is the um the front will be lower. Okay, so the front will be four by four inches, which is what I'm going to cut out now. Okay, so. I'm just going to trim out this part here. I just hope somebody is not confused. Okay. What I did was I marked both the front and back neckline on the same pattern paper. Okay. Because I didn't want to waste paper. So this is my front now. Now, next thing I want to mark the um, star line for the yoke. Okay. So it's not a regular yoke, more like a bib. Okay. So I'm going to mark 12 inches from my shoulder. Okay. Then I will use my curve you know to link it to midway on my armhole there so you can use your pencil but i like to use my curve this is my pattern master here so i'll just link it to midway of my armhole okay so this is the shape of the um, yoke okay so this is it here yeah so i'm just going to cut out this part okay so for the yoke part i'll be using um there's this lace fabric I saw in the market. It's very light, a little bit of see-through. Okay, so I'll be using the lace for the yoke, and then the remaining part of the front pattern will be um the Ankara fabric. So meanwhile, it's also going to be on fold. So yeah, and then we need our basic sleeve and all of that. Okay, so at this point, I've already cut out my sleeve. This is the front pattern here on fold. And I did some allowance to the you know all the sides. Then this is um the yoke pattern I cut out. So this is the lace I'll be working with here, and I'll be lining it with um veil net to give it that see-through effect instead of lining it with the same um lace. Then this is my basic sleeve here. I've done a tutorial on how to drop the basic sleeve. I can drop the link to that in my the description box, okay? Then this is the back pattern. Also, I've also cut out a facing for the back. So your facing is just a shorter version of the main dress. It's like your lining, but it's just shorter. Okay, so this is my facing here. And basically that's all. So we just click up the same tutorial immediately. So first thing first, I'll go ahead and turn the back neckline. Like so with half inch seam allowance. Okay. Then when I do that, I will iron 
the center back so that I can identify the back of my neckline. So this is the back here. I've already notched the um, neckline. So now I'm going to use my chalk to draw. Let me draw the center line for this is my center back line here. Then I'm going to draw this um, the line like two different lines on each side of this center line here. Okay, so I'm coming down by um, six inches. Okay, then I'll just draw like a V neck, like a V shape towards the neckline. So this is the point where I'm going to sew. You see that I'm just marking my half inch. So I have like a V shape. So I'm going to sew on that line. I'll sew on this line like so. Then when I finish sewing, I'll just give it a notch. So let me quickly do that, and I'll show us how to notch it. Then of course this is my yoke. I've already turned the neckline with my nets. Okay, so can you see the see-through effect there? Okay, so now that I've already shown it, I'm trying to cut out the V neckline part here. Can you see that? So you have to do it very carefully so that I don't break the seam. Then just notch one or two parts along the neckline, and then you are going to fold in to the right side okay you know all of this is on the wrong side i hope we know that so we're now folding to the right side of the fabric like so so at the end of the day we have an opening at the back but there's no zipper okay personally i don't like using zippers on free dresses like this okay i prefer to use buttons or rope or something so this is how the back is going to be okay but it needs a good press I need to go and press this well okay so this is my back piece here now we're gonna go back to the front okay so for the front piece I added seam allowance already to the top part I added two inches seam allowance to the hemline because I need to hem the dress okay so that it's not too short and then of course I have side seam allowance right okay so now for the yoke the yoke is going to be sewn to the um neckline of the dress okay so at this point i'm just going to pin it together so that i don't have um the net shifting here and there and then after using seam ripper okay that's why you should use your pins all the time it helps you to minimize errors and use of seam ripper right so here now i'll open up my front piece and then you should create a notch at the center using your scissors okay and then this is where the yoke will be but if you look at the picture carefully there's like um a flounce but it's a rectangular flounce it's not a circular flounce except if you want to do that okay so but i'm doing a rectangular flounce because i still want to maintain the selvage on the lace okay i don't start rolling the hemline of the flounce it's going to it's going to distort um the style so this is um the lace fabric I used here. So what I'll just do is I'm going to trim off this unwanted part around the selvage of the lace. I'll use my scissors to do that so that I have a definite um, shape around my um, <clears throat> around the lace. Yeah. So I've already notched the um, center. Then this is the lace here. Then I, what I did was I cut the two selvage on both sides of the lace in case it won't be enough but i found that i didn't even need to join this but i'm just doing it in case we have people that probably the list is not up so you have to join so now i'm just going to pin this around the um star line so firstly i'll do like a roll them first and i'll place it like half an inch before the um armhole because you see I have a seam allowance around that part today so I'll just pin it. Then what you want to do is you don't have to, you don't need to uh, like have the pleats being too big, just very tiny pleats. Like the pleats are very tiny, almost invisible. Okay, so I'll just pin it and then don't assume. Make sure you pin it around first, check it out and make sure the um, flounce is not folding at the bottom. If you make the pleat too big, the flounce will have this, it won't lie flat on the dress. Okay, so the pleats are just very, very tiny. So I'm just folding round. Okay, I'm just folding it round. And then 
like I said, I ended up not using all of the, um, I, I didn't even get to the part where I had to join the cell verse together. It wasn't necessary. Okay. So I'll just keep doing this and then, yeah, this is it here. Can you see that? So now all I'll just do is I'm going to join my beep <laughs> or my yolk. Whichever one you want to call them. I'm calling it a bib because it's already looking very big. Like a child's bib. So, I'm just going to attach this to the um, main dress. So, you want to start from the center. You sew to one end. Center. You sew to the other end. As simple as that. So, here. This is it here. My front is ready. So, all I'll do is I'm going to place my back piece on top of the front. Right side facing right side. Okay. And I'll join it at the shoulder with half inch seam allowance. Okay. Meanwhile, we need to also work on the sleeves. So for the sleeve, it's very simple. It's a balloon sleeve. Okay. So for the balloon sleeve, um, we're going to make use of the um sleeve opening the circumference so what i have here is about um seven on four that's 14. so if you're making a balloon sleeve you're going to cut out a long piece of fabric okay the width is going to be like the circumference times two or three so i, I have like 14 times three there about meanwhile i didn't bother doing times two i just used the full length of the ankara fabric okay that's the whole length of ankara then it's about um 10 inches wide then plus about two inches for um to create casing for the elastic okay i don't know if that's making sense so now what i want to do is i'm going to fold this into two like so and then i'll sew with one inch seam allowance but i won't complete it yet okay and then i'll do a rolled hem here to create a casing for my elastic about half um half inch twice okay now this is it here so what I've done basically, I've already created the casing for my elastic here, and I uh, left an opening for me to pass the elastic, okay, about half inch wide. So uh, this is my elastic here. So all I'll do is I'll just measure my um, my wrists or my lower by my lower arm hand circumference. Then I'll measure it on the elastic, okay. Then I'll cut it out. And then I'll use my threader or um, safety pin to pass the elastic. So, but I have a, I have a threader. Okay, so I'll cut it out. This is my threader here. I'll show us. This is what my threader looks like. So what I'll do is I'll first of all pin the elastic down to the um, dress, to the sleeve. I beg your pardon. Then I'll use the threader to pass the elastic. This is my threader here okay so like i said you don't have to use this you can use um safety pin yeah the normal safety pin so I'll just put it like so and pass the elastic round yeah so i'm just passing the elastic okay round and then for the um upper part you run a gather stitch around the upper part here and then we're going to gather it back to the um sleeve opening circumference which is um 14 plus seam allowance don't forget okay so i'm done you can see where the elastic is here and i've also gathered here and don't forget i said you should not I, that you should not sew the one inch completely to the top up and um, to the upper parts okay so now i'm just going to get my sleeve and we're going to attach um the sleeve to the the um, balloon part okay so this is it here so i'm just going to attach the gathered part okay to the basic sleeve okay so once i do that next thing i'll go ahead and attach it to my dress okay i'll attach it to my dress this is which is what i've done here can you see that then i'll just go ahead and sew my um 
exciting. I was had the sleeves with the armhole. Then hem the hem like that too. So this is the outcome of the dress. It's a very simple and classy sheet dress. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Can you give it a thumbs up? Um, don't forget to subscribe. This is your first time on the channel. And feel free to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.